this booth is amazing. I'm kind of geeking out about it. I know. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. Sometimes I go picking with my boyfriend, sometimes it's my best friend Sue, and sometimes it's my kids. But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and hopefully just maybe making a profit. Action. All right, well, Joss was just saying, we've got the old camera. We and it's do. like bringing an old friend that we haven't been shopping <laughs> with for a while out with us. That's exactly right. Welcome back, old camera. Welcome back, old camera. And the only reason we have the old camera is because I forgot to charge the new camera, so it's kind of by default. But it's okay, old, old camera, we still, we still love you. <laughs> yeah, and he does have that. What the thing that she's petting is his fuzzy little troll head. Yeah, his fuzzy little that blocks the wind, which we don't really have to worry about because we are heading into an antique mall. We are about to head in and see what we can find that we can flip for a profit. I'm kind of excited. Um, I know a lot of you discount the antique malls because <sighs> they're antique malls. But we can get, the whole point of this is we can get goodwill prices out of this place. Absolutely. So you come and watch so us do can it. you. So yep, let's go we'll ahead you out. and see what we can find. Flip for a profit. All Here right. we go. See you in a few. Okay, so we literally just walked in the door and I found this amazing booth that I don't remember from the last time. I don't know if I just walked by it the last time, but it is full of vintage goodness. So we're gonna go through this booth, see if we can find anything. I haven't even looked at the prices yet. I just walked straight in here. I said, I need to pull out my camera and we're gonna see what the prices on this stuff is. <laughs> They've got some really cool stuff. I mean, we recently sold one of these guys new in the box. And honestly, I can't remember what it sold for, but they've got 10 on this. They've got $3 on the Desert Rose salt and pepper stickers. These typically sell for like 10 to 12. So, I mean, I technically could buy those and make some money, but I actually have some listed right now. And I'm not really interested in buying another pair at the moment. Um, we've got the Lester candle holders for only 15. These guys are great. They're probably Japan, honestly, but it's a boudoir lamp. I love that skyscraper shape. That's pretty perfect. This looks like Royal Copley. It is. It's even marked as such. And one of the dead giveaways on that is these little lines on the bottom. That kind of gives it away as Royal Copley, besides the design, of course. Honestly, when I walked into the booth, this is kind of what got me really excited. And I need to pull my camera out right now. They only want 18 for this. I don't know. I feel like that's too much for me to make a profit, but that's a really great deal if you're just in here to shop. So we're gonna poke around. Um, they've got the cake. This might be Chromex. I'm not 100% on that. This is actually pretty nice. $10. Colony. There's some pretty great stuff in here. Oh, look at that. You guys know I'm a sucker. Hi, lady without the camera. All right. Oh my gosh. Wow. You disappeared for like two minutes and you already reappeared with stuff. Do you remember this <laughs> I set? I do remember that set. I said it was too expensive at $14. One of our viewers mm -hmm. said, I will buy that. Oh. And she's, she buys stuff from us, from your eBay shop, from my Etsy shop. I think I know who you're talking about. I think you do. <laughs> So I said, well, next time we're there, if it's there, I'm getting it. Awesome. So while I was there, now this one was more expensive. This was 18, but it's occupied Japan. So. Hmm. It's a cute little condiment set, though. Yes. Now the condiment sets, and I can get that out. I did a video on how to get those out. <laughs> Um, I will replace the corks. 
And this is a sweet little set. The reason I'm willing to go $18 is right here. It Those has the spoon. label. Yes. And most of them do not. That's true. But it's occupied Japan. So it's a little more high priced. I had said, we're going to come in here and I'm going to show you we can get thrift store prices. Not thrift store prices. But that one already has a buyer. And this one will find a buyer very <laughs> quickly. And, you know, it's going to be a buyer that's not going to balk at the kind of price that I'm going to have to charge. Absolutely. So. Very nicely done. All right. This this booth is amazing. I'm so kind of geeking out about it. Centuries. I know. I walked right in here and I'm like, I need my camera. Oh my God. I can't proceed without it. Whoa. What, what did you just find? What? Is what? This what? Thing? Looks like a plate. Yes, but what do we have? What was that in the middle? It was a, th a thing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's a Cornish hostess server plate thing for ten dollars. You know, an enterprising individual would grab something like this and turn it into a clock. That would be a really cool clock. And coincidentally, it would make a twelve of perfect them. clock. <laughs> yes. Oh goodness. I know. I'm totally geeking out. I was geeking out when you walked up. Totally geeking out. Um, some of the stuff they have in here, including this Santa Claus. I mean, I know we're a little late for Christmas, but this is great. I mean, they only want eighteen for this. I could probably make a little bit of money on that, but not very much. So I'd be tempted to leave that behind. But for somebody just walking in here looking for a deal, totally worth oh, it. For a mid-century collector, just coming in here. What? Pretty piece. It is. Oh, I like that. That one's nice too. Isn't that? That is just. I forget who makes that, but I've had some pieces of it recently. Stanford. Sebring. Sebring. That's exactly what I was thinking of. $20 for the Sebring. It's amazing because these pieces are so delightfully mid-century, but for some reason the Sebring stuff that we buy just doesn't sell for a lot of money. So, 20 is about what I would expect for that piece, so I'm going to leave it there. But look at this. Well, the other thing I like about this booth, in addition to their great stuff, because look at that. I know, they've got the, the juice glasses. cups, they've got the regular cups, they've got the whole trolley yeah. thing going on. Nine pieces, trolley for 50. I mean, this is great. I'm that in is, heaven right now. And I love the fact <laughs> that it's so clean. Yes. It's, it's clean, it's neat. It's not, like, cluttered. No. This guy is great though, look at everything. And you can see everything when it's going to look in your own Yeah, this is a nice little booth, but we are going to move forward and see what else we can find. I don't think we're actually going to buy anything from this booth. There's some bright stuff in here for sure. Look at this. It's like an onion drain. Action! Well. Okay, the salt and pepper shakers were a little pricey, but note, four for $10, and these are all lace edge plates. Remember, reticulated, as in reticulated python, because it has that net design. <laughs> that was one of our words of the day. And four for 10, look at that one. That's beautiful, this is it marked Bavaria. Uh, yes, as a matter of fact, one of them is, no, this, um, this has one of the marks, but ah. one of them is marked Bavaria. All right, here we go. Now, you know what's going to become of these. Tidbit <laughs> trays. <You bet. laughs> they are all going to get holes drilled in the bottom, but two fifty dollars a piece, these are thrift store prices. Yeah. You just have to know what you're looking for. That's exactly right. My gosh, I love that. Oh 
How much? 29. It's pretty great. Yeah. Well. <laughs> and I spotted it from way over there. I know. <laughs> So the question is, I was like, oh, look at that lamp. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so we're back here in the back of Emmitsburg Antique Mall, and I found a booth that I thought, hey, is this new? And it so happens that the owners of the booth were here, and I said, are you new by any chance? And they just opened up in the past month, but they've got some really great stuff here. So the lamp that I was looking at is theirs. And I think I'm going to end up with this. It is $29, but I'm definitely going to grab this. Uh, Sue is going to rewire it in one of her videos on her channel, Sue Me. So that's great. I don't have to spend time rewiring it. But they've got some really great stuff here in the booth. They have, they've got stuff here because they're actually <laughs> here in the process of doing stuff in the booth. This is actually really neat. That is phenomenal. Turtle, terrine. This is cool too. They've got some really great stuff here. I'm actually kind of excited that we stumbled across this booth. Um, but they've got some really nice art glass here as well. And I was checking it out. So if you're in the area, make sure you come in and check out their booth. They are booth 209. And um, there's some great stuff here. So we're going to keep keep looking around, but... Um, definitely worth a peek. I love when new dealers move in and I get awesome lamps. So let's keep going and see what we can find. He's cute. It's Benji. He's in the basket. He's so cute. Oh my goodness. These guys are cute. All right. I'm going to go this way, even though you came from this direction. Oh my gosh, look at this. Yes, I, just came from that. I know, I know. Um, Did you see the dolls? The dolls are all right on point. Right on point. Oh, that's yeah, good. That's, you know, I'm pretty sure this is where we picked up that little four-wheeler that was in tan. Yes, it is. All the I remember. are just about spot on. Which is great because usually they overcharge in places. It's like, true. Because they don't understand the market. It's wonderful to hear that they're spot on. Yes. I'm going to stick into this booth actually. I mean, it's mostly dolls, but here they've got some of my kind of stuff. That's kind of neat. I don't know that I'm lifting it and the lid's not coming off. It's kind of freaking me out a little. That's a fun mug. They've got some cool stuff in this. You know, it's it's not just all dolls, but there is a lot of dolls in here. All right, well, let's see what's back in this corner where Sue came from. Oh, look at the cheese with the mouse. Oh, the cheese with the mouse or the mouse with the cheese, however you want to say it. The last time I was here with Andrew, we were over here looking at these salt and pepper shakers, and I found those Holt Howard Terrier salt and pepper shakers, and they ended up selling for really good money. Now, here we are again, and I'm looking at all of this stuff, and I'm seeing this right here. Ren Clay. Hmm. Ren clay, I don't know. I mean, honestly, that reminds me of the Sitka clay figurines we've been selling recently, but it says Tennessee clay. I'm going to believe it. So, I'm not seeing any more Holt Howard salt and peppers. So, we're going to move on. Oh my gosh, it's a complete grease container. $30, oh my goodness. Now, at the time of filming this video, we actually have salt and pepper and lidless, lidless, without lid grease, uh, for sale on our eBay. So I was just kind of curious what they've got it marked for. But with the lid, they're selling it for 30 bucks. So um, we have one listed without the lid. 
And we started at $4, so we'll see how it does. But we also are including, of course, the salt and pepper shaker. So hopefully it does pretty well. I like this booth too. They have a lot of mid-century stuff, a lot of vintage stuff. Oh, this is actually, I really like this. I'm taking that. Made in Japan, $5. You know, I think you could probably get 10 for that after fees. It might not be worth it, but I really like that. I'm taking that. There's a discount on the booth. I might consider it. Oh, wait. What do we have here? For $8. Those are giraffe. Are giraffe like plural? I don't know. And there's definitely a lady that is not fully clothed. Royal Africana, France. I'm just honestly totally digging those giraffe. I feel like I could do pretty well with that. Eight dollars. I mean, this is definitely tribal African. I think I'm going to give it a shot. All right. Eight dollars. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. <laughs> 